today I have this old Hollywood glam hairstyle for you. So if you're wanting to go old Hollywood glam for your wedding or prom, or you just want to look old Hollywood glam for the day, stay tuned because this hairstyle is so easy. Okay, so the first thing that I've done is I've just sectioned off my hair. We're just going to do it section by section. And then I've divided it in the back just down the, to the nape of my neck and just split it. So what we're going to do is I'm using a <clears throat> one inch barrel curling iron. And when you're doing like a whole, like an old Hollywood glam, it's really pretty to do it with um, tighter curls. So a one inch or a three quarter inch barrel is um, ideal. So all we're going to do is just start curling your hair towards your face. And you really want to get the whole strand of hair curled. So you want to start at the root, at the root, and then work your work it to the end. So I'm just gonna curl this and speed it up right here so you can see how it goes. Okay, so now I'm going to um, part my hair. So part of getting that old Hollywood glam look is doing a really far side part. <clears throat> so I'm going to take my teaser and just part it. I'm going to part it a little bit further over than normal because normally I would probably, I would maybe part my hair like right above my eyebrow. But for this look, I'm going to take it really far over to the side. So, you know, the, probably towards like the end of my eyebrow. And this is the last part, this is the last bit that we're going to curl for this side of my hair. So we'll do that and then we're going to section off this side and do these top pieces in smaller sections so we really continue to get a really pretty wave and a really pretty you know, old Hollywood style. Okay, so now that you're done curling it all, <clears throat> I just kind of like to let it um, cool down because this top part is still pretty hot. Um, and you have, you're kind of left with like a Shirley Temple look. But don't worry because we are going to just um, run our fingers through it. We could start on this side. This side's already cooled down. So you could just kind of rub your finger, run your fingers through to kind of break up some of that curl. But it's really, it's really pretty that it all is one curl and will stick together. It's kind of the look we're going for. Um, we're going to wait for this a little bit. We can start at the bottom. Okay, and <clears throat> now what we need to do is we need to add some volume. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some dry shampoo. I just like to use like the Tresemme. It's pretty pretty cheap, pretty affordable. Um, you can get it at any drugstore. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my teaser and we're just going to back comb and then instead of spraying it with um, hairspray, we're going to spray it with this dry shampoo to help it to stay longer and give it a little bit more volume. So for me, I always like to um, start at the back and just do it in like the back section. We're just gonna tease it. I've never had a problem with teasing, um, breaking or damaging my hair. I know that some people are really worried about that, but I've never really had that problem. So I wouldn't be too worried. 
worried about it. I tease my hair probably every day, so, um, yeah. Okay, keep teasing, and then I just let it sit forward to dry. Let the dry shampoo dry. Okay, and then I just kind of let that stay like that. Um, okay, and then for this look, you're going to want to have a lot of volume right up at the top of your head, so kind of make it like a wave. So we're going to definitely have more volume on this side than we are on this side. So I'll go ahead and start with that. For, the, for this top layer, because dry shampoo can give you kind of a dry, a white cast sometimes on really dark hair, I'm just going to use some of my really heavy duty um, hairspray. It's the spray, spray and play harder. It's my big sexy hair. So especially right along right here, you don't want to have any white cast. So just right through here, I'm just going to use the hairspray. And then on the underneath part where we're really going to want some lift, I'm going to use that dry shampoo. Where you want like a durable lift because your hair is going to be sitting all on top of that underneath layer. So that's where we need, why we need a little extra hold right there. Oops, see? That one has a white cast for sure. So I'm glad that's on the bottom because um, normally if you spray that, you're going to want to kind of comb through it. But since it's on that bottom layer, it's not really going to be seen, so people won't really notice and think that you're weirdo or anything. Alright. Also, a good thing about dry shampoo on these underneath layers is if you get really oily hair, especially right next to your skin, it helps to keep it clean and keep it from weighing down. So I'm just going to let it, just kind of fan it a little and let it dry, and then shake it all over to the other side. Whoop, look at that volume. And then we're just going to give this other side a little bit of volume too. Whoops. Got a little snarl there. Okay. Don't worry about your part getting messed up because it will not. Because you have this side that's being teased all underneath and this side that's being teased all underneath. So it will, on the underneath. So it will keep that part for you. So no, don't stress about that. I switched back to the hairspray because you're going to be seeing, you know, a lot of this um, side. And we don't, right here on this underneath layer, I'll do some dry shampoo. White cast skin. let that dry a little. Okay, <clears throat> all right. So now what I'm going to do is just kind of run my hands through. See, you're not seeing that piece that was white cast underneath there, so we're good. And then I'm going to get my brush, and I'm just starting at the ends, just brushing it out. Because I don't want it to be a ringlet anymore, and be in the individual ringlets. So I'm just starting at the ends. And then I'm just going to kind of smooth over that top layer that we teased. And then this, I'm just going to help it curl the way that we want it to, but I really like having a bit, a lot of lift right here. I think that's really pretty and I think it really adds to that, you know, that old Hollywood glam look. Okay, and then once you have it, if it's too much on the top, just kind of run your fingers through and mash it down a little bit. Okay, and then there you go. That's your old Hollywood glam look. If you wanted to, you could do a bobby pin, and you could, you know, secure that in if you wanted to. Or, like, if you were going to a really 
um, fancy event or you had a really gorgeous dress, like let's say you're going to prom or something like that, you, oh, things a little crazy, you could, what would be really pretty is to pin this side back, like that, and then put a really pretty like ornate um, clip in right there. That'd be really pretty too. Okay, so here's our final look for our old Hollywood glam hairstyle. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye. There you go. There's your second sexy ponytail.